In today's episode of Knights at the Game Table, we have the Custodies versus the Emperor's Children. Oh yes, and I'll be explaining why I'm wearing this ridiculous outfit. To keep up to date with everything at Knights at the Game Table, all you have to do is click subscribe and then hit that tiny little notification button next to it so every time we upload a new video, YouTube will be sure to let you know. Now some of the more astute followers of Knights at the Game Table have noticed that my beard has been growing remarkably large every single episode. And this is for a very good reason. This is because... I am Robin Hood. Well, actually what happened is I've joined a local Ren Fair and I got given the lead part in the role playing Robin Hood at the Sherwood Forest Fair in Austin, Texas. And so what I've been doing is growing out my beard to try and look a little bit more Robin Hoody and also rehearsing a ridiculous amount and doing lots of stage combat. Um, this is not the exact outfit I'm going to be wearing. We're going to be working on that. But today's episode is very special because Prince John himself from the show also plays Warhammer 40,000 and we decided that we would play our very first game against each other live here on Knights of the Game Table. So you're going to get to watch Robin Hood go head to head with Prince John. Now while you're watching, don't forget that if you want to win your very own start collecting box, all you have to do is comment beneath the video and share the video. And then you'll be entered into our monthly draw to win a start collecting box, whichever one you want from Warhammer 40,000 or Age of Sigma. So you too could choose to get the Emperor's Children's favorite toy, some demons of Slanesh. So while you're leaving a comment and sharing the video, I'll see you in the game. Good day, one and all. I'm Prince John of House Plantagenet, and this evening at Knights of the Game Table, I am bringing the ultimate good men, the Legio Custodes, to brace off against those scoff laws, the Emperor's children. Now, we've gotten a hold of some of the leaked rules ahead of time, and we are very, very excited to be taking our ultimate golden warriors out for a spin. Now, in reality, my name's Sean Hunter, and I'm really looking forward to facing off against my good friend Adam on the table. We brought just a nice little detachment that we're going to take a look at. So in this detachment, we've got three brands of troops. We're doing just a simple storm shield and sentinel blade at the front, and then the pikemen in the back. So those three up and vulnerable saves are gonna save a lot of the guys. Backing them up with a full-size dreadnought. And then we've got two of the knight captains and a single one of the bannermen who nobody can pronounce yet, and that's all right. Today I'm gonna to be taking down Prince John and the foul, evil, corrupted forces of the Custodes with those lovable outlaws, the Emperor's Children. Um, so today I'm gonna to be bringing my Emperor's Children detachment. I've played this on Knights at the Game Table before against the Alpha Legion, I believe, and I got absolutely wrecked uh, because my Alpha Legion army really is pretty beefy. But all in all, I still believe in the Emperor's Children army. I've played a bunch of games off camera, and this force really does well. Um, I've got a Demon Prince the, um, of Slanesh, and obviously of the Emperor's Children, um, and a Chaos Terminator um, Sorcerer, and I've got three squads of Noise Marines, I've got a Rhino with a Melter Gun, and I've got a bunch of Chosen in the Rhino. Uh, my goal today is going to be to stay back from the custodes and not fight them in close combat because at range they're pretty much just armed with bolt guns. That should be not too difficult to deal with. Um, once they get in close my guys are going to have a real tough time and I'm hoping that's where the demon prince, smite and some melter guns are going to make the difference. So in today's battle, we're going to be playing on this ridiculously cool terrain. Now, there's so much about this terrain that I love. The first thing that I love is every single piece of terrain you see on this table costs less than $80. It's a brand new thing that we found at PAX in San Antonio, um, and it's called Tinker Turf. They've got a Kickstarter right now where you can get an entire skirmish-sized table for less than $80, bucks or a full battlefield for less than $140. Definitely worth checking out. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys. We saw it, told them about our show and they donated us this set here to play on nights. Um, it's ridiculously incredible, mostly because it comes pre-colored. Um, it's solid wood, um, it's completely modular, and yeah, I, I can't rave about it enough. We brought it here at Dragon's Lair and everyone's coming over and saying, wow, this is really cool. How long did it take to color and paint? And it doesn't, it comes pre-colored. Um, you know, it's hard to get even a couple of pieces of terrain for less than uh, 100 bucks normally, and you've still got to assemble it and paint it, but this is literally pull it out and you're ready to get going. Um, we love it here, uh, we're really, looking forward to seeing Tinker Turf do well. Not many people know about them yet, so if you get the time, if you enjoy, um, you know, if you enjoy what you see on the terrain, then please check out their Kickstarter and consider grabbing some for yourself, or at least telling your friends about it by sharing it into other groups, because we love the stuff. Um, today's mission's going to be drawn and quartered. We're gonna have four objectives. Whoever controls an objective at the, end of each, um, at the end of each turn gains one victory point. At the end of the game, whoever's got the most victory points wins. Let's see what goes down. 
Well, Scofflaw, are you ready to begin this fight? I like your brother more. Oh, everyone likes my brother more. Mommy, mommy, mommy likes my brother more. But you, sir, you shall roll off for turns. Very well, let us see who shall be defeated today, Prince John. And I am going to roll a three plus one because I set up first. A four. I certainly can beat a three plus one four. But a six I have. However, in the spirit of chivalry, the visiting team shall defer to the home team, which will get the ball in the second half. Nice, we get the first turn no matter what. American football. What's, I don't understand how it's that works. It's all right. So it's, we'll no, explain no. it later. Yeah, okay. I'm going to start Prince John by moving my rhino around. So I'll just bring him to here. It's the end of my rather extravagant movement phase. Brings us to the psychic phase. I am out of range of doing anything remarkably impressive, so I'm not going to do anything. I am, however, going to shoot with some noisy marines. Um, I've got a pair of blast masters here that have a 48 inch range, so they're going to take a shot at him. I've got one here as well. I have a funny feeling that this guy is closer um, to these guys over here. Um, but he's also a character. He is also a character. So under the new test rules, I could technically ignore him. All right, I'll fight all three of him then. Okay, so I got three noise marines. Normally hitting on threes, but minus one to hit because of the banner. So we're hitting on fours. Ha ha, two hits. Right, toughness five. Strength eight, so winning on threes. One wound. All right. Is there right. any AP on that? Prince John, there is a minus two AP on that one. All right, so that's a four up save in mm -hmm. a way. Good luck. How do well, you save Fiddlesticks. Uh. Um, okay, so that's the end of the blast Fortune masters. Fortune favors the bold, my friend. Uh -huh. See how bold you are when you come close and face to face with my Empress children. No, we're out of range on everything, I'm afraid. Oh, the Rhino's probably got a shot. It does. I have a single shot against one guy. I'm going to take it just because. Hitting on a three up. Nope, that fails. Right. So. Um, there we are. That's the end of turn one. Um, at the end of turn one, I claim two victory points, and it is your turn, sir. All right, so we've got a move of six on everyone, except the Dreadnought. So we're just going to go ahead and hop up. Dreadnought has a move of nine right now. All right, so that brings us to shooting phase. So first thing we're going to engage is the Rhino with the Multi Melter. We're not within half range of it, so one shot or two up. Hits. Um, Toughness is seven on that one. Yep. All right. Wounding on threes. Versus eight, wounding on threes. <laughs> and wounding on four. And no saves. No save, all right, so. D6 wounds. That would be D6 wounds. And five wounds on the Rhino. Incredibly lucky dice, Prince John. I'm starting to doubt whether these are fair dice or whether you're playing with cheating dice. Would I do that to you? That is exactly the kind of thing we would exactly expect. exactly the kind of thing that I would do. It's exactly the kind of thing we'd expect Prince John to do. Prince All right, John fantastic, do. as long as we know where we're playing. Unfortunately, I provided the dice. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I switched them last moment, you didn't yes. see. All right, so we're not within 12 of this big, ugly person, so eh, let's take the Rhino down. Four shots going at the Rhino, at three up to hit. Two hits. Two hits. Strength four, toughness four seven, fives. seven, fives. Does wow, not. these dice are amazing. One wound. One wound, all right. Yeah, we've got one save of three plus on the Rhino. One. one. It's better not be a replay of the last game I played where every dice roll hated me. Two damage. All right, this crew is actually gonna shoot at Big Ugly. Mm -hmm. So he's Definitely. got two sets of Guardian Spears coming at him. Two Spears, three up. Why one do I hits. keep rolling at one hits? Fives. Fives, no. And that is what I've got for shooting phase. So that's the end of my turn end, one. End of turn one, Prince John. Playing as cowardly as we know you are. Conservatively, conservatively. <laughs> and that does give me two victory points as well. Okay, these guys are gonna leave. They're gonna come out to here, and then they'll move to there. 
and then this guy is going to come there. This guy is going to fly to here. And then this guy is going to teleport in. Psychic phase. And you, sir, are about to get smote. Smoted? Smoted. Smitten? Smitten. No, that's something else. Smiting oh. is happening. So my Chaos Terminator Sorcerer dude um, is going to cast Smite on the, the Dreadnought. Okay, does it manifest? It manifests. All right, on Deny the Witch. Six. So, the newest rule about this gives a Deny the Witch to your Warlord if you choose a specific stratagem for them and a specific Warlord trait. So, this gives me not only a Deny the Witch, it adds a plus one to my roll. It can only be used once per Psychic Phase. All right, and I rolled 12. Uh, uh, that stops the, uh, the smite. So um, we're not smitten. He is unsmitten. I'm going to cast Diabolic Strength on Begin. the Demon Prince. Uh, seven, which is a success. So the Demon Prince has Diabolic Strength. Um, and then the Demon's going to cast Warp Time on himself. Does Robin Hood work with demons? Um, he, I got a four and a one. I'm going to use a command point to alter the one. Give me an eight. There we are. Perfect. So now I've completed my movement phase and my psychic yeah. phase. The charming rogues that are the Emperor's children with their ha 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 merriment are going to shoot you in the face. Um, we're going to start with uh, this sorcerer who has a combi mel melter who's just going to fire the melter part of it at that dude and uh, he's going to miss. I do have three melter guns on these guys but I am going to fire at that rhino. Um, so uh, the Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Three hits. Three hits. Strength eight, toughness. Toughness seven. Nice. Wounding on threes, Prince John. Ha ha! That is three wounds from Melter Guns. You have three Threes. saves at minus four. Four up and vulnerable. Nice. Four up and vulnerable. Of course he does. One and goes through. One goes through. Uh, I'm going to command point. Uh, that of course you are. Try for it, because why not? Nice. nice. Did it. We All wasted right. a command point as well. All Excellent. Right. If you wouldn't mind removing the dice, All we will right. do d six wounds. I don't get to re -roll, uh, roll a second dice because I'm close. Four wounds on the dreadnought. So that takes him down to six. The rhino is going to shoot at uh, and hits on a six uh, with his melter gun. Wounding on a three, so it's another save on the dreadnought. Oh, it's a melter gun. Okay, mm -hmm. four up. Sorry. No, you're good. Ah, no cut, no, no command points this time. No point this Additional time. D6 wounds. Four. Four wounds, and that takes him down to two. Why does everyone hate the Dreadnought? Everyone hates the Dreadnought. Everyone hates the Dreadnought. He should be scared of all the other guys. No one likes a Dreadnought. Okay, I've got three dark blaster things, big guns. Um, I've got two of these epic doom blasters shooting at this squad, and one, the last one, shooting at that squad, which is irritating, but... It's just how it's going to be. Prince John, let's see how you feel about a Blast Master with a single frequency to the face. Huzzah, one hit. <laughs> uh, wounding on a three. Never mind. And then uh, the other one's going to shoot at those guys, hitting on fours, which hits. hits. Wounding on a three. This... Nice. Doesn't matter. It's, it's all right. I, I provided both sets of dice. That's a... <laughs> nice. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. Um, so I've got some other noise marines here that can fire, um, and I've also got some bolt guns in front of you over there as well. So let's fire uh, these bolt gun dudes. So I got a pair of shots there. One hit, wounding on a five, no wounds. Uh, but the noise marines, these are cool. We've got these sonic blasters, and they have three attacks each. But these three guys are in range. Nines, hitting on threes. That's a lot of hits. It's pretty good. Strength of four though, so wounding on fives. Two. Uh, two saves on a custard. These guys don't like dying. If he? Uh, no. No. All right. So two up saves. Yep. Double sixes. You didn't need to cheat that much. I didn't much. need that. You didn't need you didn't it to need that. Yeah. All right. Um, Could okay, use cool. that later or earlier. That's the end of the shooting phase. We move into the close combat mode, the charge phase. Um, the demon prince is going to charge the dreadnought and these three custodies here. Uh, succeeds on a five. Um, you get to overwatch with everything that is there. All right, so we're gonna start with Guardian Spears. Okay, I got one hit with Guardian Spear. That's strength four, so it's fives to wound, yes. All right, did not wound. Two shot pistol. All right, got one there. Not wounded, so you've got one stock save. Got a combi bolter shooting at you. Two hits. 
the wounds. And lastly, multi melter does it hit? It does not hit. All right, so you basically have one save. It right, no AP? No AP. Cool. Uh, my Demon Prince has a save, three up save, so three up. And he failed, of course he does. Um, however, he has a feel no pain of uh, six up feel no pain. Let's do this. Huzzah! Look at that. No wound. Okay, so he's in close combat. Um, now the Terminator is going to attempt to charge. Uh, I need nine because that's what I need. Eleven! And no overwatch because you're in close combat. Charge away, charge away. So, that's okay this way. The right, oh, the rhino's charging? Mm -hmm. I don't think I can tangle foot a vehicle. Six inches. So are you ready? Yes, yes. I'm ready for close combat. You ready for right. his jump? I'm very ready. Good. This is our... our Prepare for the fight scene. Uh, so, the Chaos Terminator Sorcerer is going to activate first. He's going to attack with his Force Sword. He has three attacks. He's hitting on threes. Uh, they all hit. Um, sadly, as a strength of four, so he's wounding on fives. One wound. All right. One, one save, save at minus three, so... Four up and four 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 I needed to fail that. That's right. a shame. So this Demon Prince, Prince John, Prince, Prince John, is very rare that you say two princes, one back there. Anyway, in you? the same yes. sentence. Right. So uh, the Demon Prince has an intoxicating elixir that gives him plus one attack, and right now he's got Diabolic Strength, which gives him another attack. So this is um, a, a multi-attack yes. Demon Prince. The Demon Prince normally has uh, four attacks, so he's currently swinging in with six attacks. Um, he normally has a strength of seven. The demonic axe gives him plus one, strength eight, and he's at strength ten right now because of the additional. That's ridiculous. Which Wonderful. is very important, important against Custodes. And the demonic axe does three damage each. Also important. I am going to have two against the dreadnoughts, four against the custodes. Uh, two on the dreadnoughts, hitting on twos, rerolling ones. Both wound. Uh, wounding on threes. Both wound. Two saves at minus three. The two saves, four up and vulnerable. One saves, one goes through. Three damage. Three damage. Ladies and gentlemen, will it launch? Mm, oh yeah. So that's it. Let's for the see. Dreadnought. Will it blow up? And it's it does not, not blow up, that's which good. is good for all of us, really. Because <laughs> this would have been a very different game if it blew up. Yes. Uh, now the Demon Prince is four attacks, um, hitting against the Custodes. Um, so hitting on twos, rerolling ones, he gets minus one to hit because it's an axe. So he's hitting on threes, rerolling ones, is actually what he's doing. Um, so there's three hits. Uh, three out of four. Um, strength ten, Custodes toughness five. five so let's <laughs> two. Two. Damn it, that's a one. There we go. Two wounds, two, two saves wounds. at minus three. I'm going to make a command point on the other one, so I'm going to go down to four. Three wounds. Three wounds. So you got Storm, Storm Shield save, save first. Storm Shield save. Nice. Uh, uh, nice. I will be using command point on that. Mm -hmm. Defense, please. Oh, I really want a one or a two. Mm. All right, there we go. So one save. There's the first save. Two more. There's the second, second save. save. There's cheating dice. Yes. Uh, Storm Shield's down. So Three Storm Shield is down. Uh, one dead. Three damage. You know, three damage weapons against the Custodes is important. Like, I made sure when I was building this force, I was like, okay, everything's in threes. The Noise Marines have three attacks. The, this die has three damage. Like, it's important. Um, that is the end of... Um, oh, no, I've got a no, Rhino. No. His D3 attacks. Oh, so he has three attacks. Nice. Um, three attacks. He's hitting on sixes. This is the most... <laughs> the, the most well-trained martial <laughs> Rhino in the history. Strength six attacks, wounding on threes against your custodes. There's one. There's one. There you go, it's a lesson learned. If you're trying to beat custodes <laughs> in close combat, use a rider. Uh, no AP, two up failed, save. Failed, 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 there needs to be a one for my humor sake. No, uh, saved on a two, there sorry. we go. He jumped out of the way at the last moment. They're skillful enough to defeat a custode, <laughs> but cannot penetrate the armor. Well, that means I get to fight back now, mm -hmm. so... So you'll pile in. Do a quick, yeah, pile in. Yeah. Right, Demon Prince is about to get hit six times. Two up. And so we hit him six times. Strength six versus toughness. Six. Six, so four up. And... Wow! <laughs> two wounds. You have two saves at minus one, sir. Two five up and vulnerable saves? You say minus one? Yes, at minus one. Oh. Oh, and I have four up saves. Because I have a three up save normally. So there we go, two saves. Nice. And now we're going to carve our initials on your Rhino because that's probably all that's going to happen. <laughs> six pull arm attacks. I was in tournament Girl Scout for the first night. You never had him, right? Act two actual wounds on the Rhino. Two saves of four up on the Rhino. Two saves. 
Where you are, Prince John, your paint is not pretty anymore. Your weapons are as useless as your words. And lastly, the Sentinel Blade. That's three hits. Two. Strength. Uh, strength is four, so T7. Uh, five, sorry. It's T7. not, it's not going to Nice. All right. There we go. Fantastic. That is the end of my retaliation. End so. of close combat on turn two. Turn. Again, an additional two victory points. I do not gain this one because even though I've got a rhino there, not only do you outnumber your models, they now claim it even if they're outnumbered. This is absolutely unfortunately the case. So with movement, no movement straight to firing, which is just going to be two pike shots. They both hit. And strength four, so four. does nothing. Bad so luck, have. Prince John. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, it's, it's all coming back to me now. I, I remember what I've done in a former life. So my warlord is going to charge the demon. Nice. He does make it. It's nope. yep. four inches. No, yes. watch. <laughs> Five swings with the Zed, I believe. And the warlord who just charged. He's two up on everything, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, this is straight strength, so that's fives. Uh, toughness six. Toughness six, so nothing. That's really <laughs> disappointing. That's very disappointing. Uh, and so... It appears my prince thwarts your prince, eh, hey, Prince John? You had to pull a demon out. That's all I'm saying. You had to pull a demon out. He's a friendly Scoff demon. Law. He's roguish. He's got roguish charm. <laughs> Tell the church about you. They excommunicated me before. This is nothing new. Again, six attacks with the Guardian Spears. Get it. Two ups, so three oh, four hits. Four hit, but My wings are like a shield of steel. It's from a TV show called Batfink. It's a good show, you should watch it. Uh, Top so of six is going to get six. hit by those two. You've got two, so you've got two at minus one. Two saves, four up. Bing. One save. One save, one wood, so but then one, Oh yeah, potential fiona fe pains. Right, yeah, and per wound, so that's three, three wounds. wounds. Three wounds, three fiona pains, six up. That's takes two wounds. Two wounds. Finally. He is down from nine, because he got plus one to seven. This is two very tough armies. And then we're going to let you take a swing at us. Oh, we get to hit back. Yes. I'm actually going to take my heroic intervention as well. And I'm going to... Doesn't seem very heroic. Do that heroic intervention. So my demon prince is going to go first. He still has diabolic strength. So a six attacks. He is going to swing everything at the custodes. Uh, the custards. Custodies, the, the two the dudes. Or the, the, twos, the, the two dudes. dudes. Hang on, threes rolling ones. Wow! He just doesn't like them. He, he really doesn't. He's just he like... He really doesn't. No. It's, it's the gold armor. Strength ten. Mooning on twos. Five saves at minus three. There you five go. Five saves at minus three. It's what demon princes do. All right, so five, four up saves. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Hazard. Three damage Leonard. each. Three damage each, so that's enough to take them Three out. dead custodes out of two. You know how they wear yellow armor? I do know how they wear yellow armor. In England, we have this dessert that sounds remarkably like custodes. Really? Because I prefer to think of them as the thin yellow line. Tripping off the end of the table. That makes sense. Yes. The custards. Okay, um, so my sorcerer is now going to attack your dude. Um, I've got one hit and two ones, but I get to reroll ones because my demon prints. Um, so that's another hit. So two hits. Wounding on fives, I'm guessing, because you're probably toughness stupid. One wound at minus three on your lord. Three up and vulnerable. All right. There we go. Took it on the shield. Nice. The rhino. So six with Guardian Spears, hitting on twos. Just so many ones late in this slate in the game. All right. So the Rhino's wound day. <laughs> there, that's one six. Wound. I got one wound. One, uh, AP one again? AP minus one. So four up. Huzzah! <laughs> Thought four it again. again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> I've done all I can and I can't do any more. Then we move on to the third turn of the game.
So at night of the game table, in the middle of the game, we often pause and sit and have a tactical breakdown where we discuss what's going on and what we're doing. Um, and we never put it in the episodes because it's always off-camera stuff while we're taking a restroom break or what have you. Um, and so today, um, we had a couple of the, the, the people that are here mention, hey, you should really put that in. So right now, Prince John has learned what my strategy is, which is um, I am basically just intending to hold these two objectives the whole game, leave him that third one, and then fight for this one over here. Um, I'm not trying to uh, overwhelm him. I'm just trying to win by a single point towards the end of the game. Um, and he's like, oh, I can see it going sour now. Um, and then we started discussing like, what some of his options are. And we're pretty good about that on nights. Like, we've, we've, we have good discussions with our teammates. So he's got a bunch of options. He can bring these characters across to try and reinforce that point. Um, or uh, something he could have done earlier, which would have been really brave and I was worried he was going to do, is rush me off of my two. <laughs> because I couldn't afford to do that to him. And I was really worried that at the beginning of the game he was just gonna ignore his two, lose two points at the beginning, but then start claiming four um, as he rushed. And that rush is still available. We're in the third turn, but three turns is enough to, um, to pull something like that off. So that's where we are, that's what's going on. Um, and we'll discuss more about this in the tactical breakdown at the end. Um, okay, my third turn. Um, I'm pretty sure the Noise Marines have assault weapons, so I'm probably going to assault those guys. I'm going to advance this unit. Four extra inches. Sometimes that's all you need. I think some weird positioning now. There you go. But that was exactly what I needed. Cool, that's the end of my movement phase. Should we move need? into the psychic, psychic phase? phase. Um, I'm going to start by casting Smite from my sorcerer onto your warlord. Smite, smite not. Seven. I'm gonna let it go through because I want to try out the new rule. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm, I'm being brave. All right. So D3 mortal wounds. It's two mortal wounds two on your warlord. Wounds. All right. So, does not save. I can't see it, dude. So it's their equivalent of feel no pain. It's nice. Aegis of the Emperor. And so it actually gives you a chance as a custode to resist a smite. Wow. Any type of mortal wound, you get a six up save <clears throat> if it's a psychic mortal wound. Yeah, so he's got six, so he's got a four. Okay, um, the demon prince is now going to cast smite. This goes I off on a seven. <laughs> this I am going to deny. Just resist it. No, that didn't work out real well for me. So six plus one, seven versus. Seven versus seven. Yes. You didn't beat it. So all You're right, going to get to test off. it again. No, huzzah. One more to win. I'm using a command. Fun fact, that was our first design. Yes. Uh, yes, two more to win. Two more to win. All right, so please resist. No, all right. And no. Nice. Excellent. Two, two more mortal to win. There you are, Lovely. Prince John. Lovely. Your it's warlord painful. is down to hurts. two. It hurts, it hurts, and stings. And now I'm going to cast Diabolic Strength on my Chaos Demon. Yes, it goes off. Ha <laughs> It is diabolically strong yet again. In a very merry and jovial way, not in a demonic way. These look a lot spikier than men in tights. I just, I just have to point that out, Robin. No, we're, we're just merry. Very merry. So That's the end of the phase. psychic phase, yes, which moves out. us into the shooting phase. I am going to spend two command points and cast Endless Cacophony on this unit of Chosen here. They are going to fire three Melter Guns into the Custodes. Twice. Hitting on threes. Uh, two hits, re-rolling the failed one because of the Demon Prince. Nope, that's still two hits. Winning on threes. Damn it. That's one save at yeah. minus four. They have a storm shot again. Three up. Yep. Nice. All right, got it. Um, so then I've got the uh, bolt pistols, I believe they have. So uh, hitting on threes, two hits, winning on fives. One wound. One more save, no AP. So two up. Save. Nice. And we're going to do that again. Hitting on threes, you're rolling ones. It's like it's there endless. There we are. Winning on threes, and it's like it's a cacophony. Uh, three wounds, three, three more wounds. saves at minus four. Ooh, Ooh nice. Storm shield one. guy. Storm shield. Roll 2d6 wounds, picking the highest. Six or five, I'll take six. I got confused. That's okay. Then I have two bolt pistol shots, one hit, winning on a five, no wounds. But these guys, they all have assault weapons, which is great. So they're all gonna fire their assault weapons, but I don't have a line of sight to these guys from here. Um, but I can shoot there, so I'm going to. I'm going to shoot the regular troops. Uh, three, six, nine. Normally hit on threes. 
Minus one because of assault weapons. Minus one because of your banner. Fives. Uh, one hit. Uh, wounds. Wounds. So one save, no AP. Alright. Okay. Take it. Um, then we've got the Blast Master. He's not the Master Blaster. Um, he has four hits. Um, hitting on fives. Ooh, two. Uh, so strength of four, so I'm winning on fives. Two! Nice! Two wounds at minus one this time. So oh, three up either way. Mm-hmm. Ah, nice! One wound. One wound. So Storm Shielder's down to two. Um, and then we're gonna do it again from this squad. These guys are hitting on fours, however. Winning on fives. One. One wound, no AP. Save. Cool. And then I've got the Blastmaster, which does D3 shots. Still one. Blastmaster is not doing me well. Uh, strength eight, so no wounds, obviously. Okay, so that's shooting, shooting. These guys, however, are going to shoot those custodies. Um, uh, they did move, so the heavy weapon's got minus one to hit. So, see how many shots he has. He has three shots. Hit on fours. Three hits. Strength eight, wounding on threes. Two wounds. You have two saves against the Blastmaster at minus two. Oh, two four up, four up in vulnerable. Right. Oh, oh got him both. Right. Nice job. Uh, then we've got the regular noise marines with their sonic blasters hitting on threes and wounding on fives. It's like a lot of firepower, but it's not enough. Uh, two. So two, two saves. Saves two, two up. Man point that. Yes, all right. Yes, that's annoyingly not a ha ha. Um, which moves me into charging. Uh, these guys are going to charge. All right. Sorry, I thought I got a mole. Uh, got it on a nine, you get to overwatch. All right, so you've got four shots. And not a six to be found. Uh, charges attack first, which means these guys, these guys are chosen. They're an elite force. Uh, they're chosen because of how elite they are. It means they have two attacks each. But more importantly, there are three power fists in the squad. Um, and one of them is on the champion. So I got some pretty crap attacks, but then I got some pretty good attacks. So I'll do the pretty pants attacks first. Uh, hitting on threes. It's three hits, wounding on fives. Uh, two wounds, two saves, no AP. One wound. One wound. So these power fists, get it going. He got fours, get minus one to hit with power fists, but we rolled right. ones because of the demon prince. Okay, I'll take five hits. Strength eight, wounding on threes. Wow, four, four, four saves at minus three. Right, here comes four the four vulnerables. vulnerables. Two, D right. three wounds. D three wounds. All right. So this is important. On the weak guy first, because that's where the wounds that's, have yeah, to be assigned. Right. That's Three it. damage, that, that ends him. Now I'm the strong guy. I need a five or a six on this. Really need a five or a six. Yes! Right. That's game changing! Right, right. And that's the game changing. There we are. Yeah, that's that's going to give me that point. All right, cool. Now we go back to my demon, which is still diabolically strong. Um, so he's got six attacks. Um, now what's really cool about Empress Children is normally, after we deal with the charges, we would alternate. So it'll be my turn, then your turn, then my turn. But Empress Children always attack first. So it's going to go my turn, then my turn, then my turn, then my turn, turn, and then when I'm finished, it'll be your turn. Hitting the Terminator Sorcerer um, on threes, re-rolling ones. Uh, I'm not hitting the Terminator Sorcerer, that's a lie. I'm hitting your Warlord, um, and wounding on twos, because I have a strength of ten. Four wounds. You have four saves to make, sir, at minus three. Think happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Will it happy blend? Thoughts. Literally this time. So, <laughs> demon. All right. <laughs> oh, bad luck. So, three go through. Nine damage. Nine damage. So that, unfortunately, does it for my warlord. It's been good. But you were the chosen one! <laughs> Well, Prince John, it appears that we have uh, successfully taken the gold armor off of your uh, troops and we'll be redistributing it to the poor all across the internet. We'll be back <laughs> with jet bikes. You're up, third time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at stuff. Two Guardian Spears shooting at those guys. Get it. They both mm. hit. Yep. All right, so one wound, uh, one save of minus one. My, one save of four. Okay, so one of them dies. When Empress Children dies, 50 noise marines, they shoot as they die. So he's gonna fire his bolt pistol back and misses. Captain Underpants over here is going to take a, a two bolt pistol shot. Ding, ding. And they both hit. 
Uh, oh, two whoa. wounds. Uh, no AP. Okay, two saves is three plus. One save, one dead. Another bolt pistol guy dies and fires. Right uh, back he hits, wounding on a five. No, he's not like yeah. that. So that's the turn. Oh no. <laughs> that's, that's all I have. Okay, moving to the fourth turn, yeah. Prince John. Movement phase, hungry for blood. So I am going to spend a command point to move the mantle from my dead warlord to my one shield captain who's left. You can either choose new traits for him or you can just inherit the existing traits. I'm going to go ahead and inherit the traits. Now tell me the Alpha Legion on the actual good guys. They have the same ability. The custodians have the same ability as the Alpha Legion. The Alpha Legion are the true good guys of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Test me. Test me, I'm telling you, that's true. So we move into the psychic phase. I'm gonna start by smiting this dude. Four, I fail. Smite him again with this guy. Ha, 10. Denying right. that. Denying the witch. You the deny witches. me. No! To which I say, yay, I cannot be denied. Take D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. You just have the emperor. Two mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. No! Ah, bad luck. All right. So he's smitten. Shooting phase. Um, let's start with the melter guns. I'm gonna end this cacophony again. So that's six melter gun shots at that one dude. He's I'm hitting on fours. Rerolling ones. Nice, three hits. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. Two saves at minus four. So two four up in vulnerables. One. D6. He takes four wounds. <sighs> Is he dead? He's dead. Oh, sweet! Uh, a couple of Blastmasters shooting against you. That's three, four, five shots. Rolling to hit first fours. Oh, wow. Honestly, oh, my dice was been really good today. Like I started, I had early game, my dice were. Yeah, mine are, especially was back end. Three wounds. <laughs> three wounds. Uh, three saves at minus two. All right, I have to roll them individually. All right. No. D3, more, D3 wounds. Three. Storm Shield guy's down. Two more. Two more. Four ups. Oh, that's not <laughs> fair. Oh. Right, I'm command pointing one of those. Yes, of course. Oh, that's all. Of course. Nice. One save. One save. Deep right. three wounds Deep three for wounds. the first one. Two wounds. Two wounds. That takes him down to one. It's harsh. Uh, nine shots per squad. Uh, hitting on fours though. Boom. That many hits. That's a lot of hits. Wounding on fives. Six wounds. No AP. Two ups. Oh, nice, one wound. One wound, all right, so that is enough to take down Chauncey. One guy left, and I have a melter gun on my rhino with his name on it. Four up. <laughs> Fails. We move into the close combat phase. Uh, Demon Prince charges the pair of them. Tanglefoot. Oh, nice, I'm on a 10. So Tanglefoot is an old school grenade that they're bringing back for the custodians, and it basically allows me to roll 1d6 and reduce his movement by the d6 amount. It's not gonna save me here, but it was really fun to spend a my six, last one. A six might stop me. Doesn't Nothing. matter, he just... <laughs> uh oh. Alright, Demon Prince just moves up into combat with the pair of them. Ten inches with wings. Two attacks against the regular guy, four attacks against the other guy. Two against the regular guy first. Hitting on threes, rolling ones. Two, two hits. Uh, wounding on twos, because strength ten. Two wounds. Two saves at minus three on the regular dude. So two, four, from vulnerables is not enough. Six and damage. Six damage, that's enough to take down. And then the last guy, hitting on threes. Strength 10, wounding on twos. Two wounds. Um, I'm out of command points, so two wounds. Two wounds. Two saves at minus three. Two saves at minus three, so that's the three up in vulnerable saves. Two saves, it. nice. Oh no, you're no, to, I get to back. Hit back. Yeah. All he has is a power knife, so it's three attacks at strength. So weapon skill, two of them hit, strength five. One of them wounds. So the power knife is a uh, AP minus two, so I've got two saves okay. of five up. Um, two saves, one made, one failed. One damage. He takes one more damage, one damage, goes down to six. There we go, he's down to six. Your fourth turn. My fourth turn. So the only thing to do at this point is to go down swinging. Skip movement. Skip psychic. Skip, 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 skip. And let's go straight to close combat. So, you go first. I go first. Emperor's children. Sorry. King of threes, rolling ones. All hit. All hit. Wounding on twos. Oh! Two ones. That's four hits. Four, four, four saves wounds. at minus four three. Saves. Any fail ends the game. Any fail and it's over. Good luck, Prince John. There we go. There we go. That's, that's nice. it. That's good, it. Game, good game. Good game. Good game. We will be redistributing that gold armor everywhere. Ah.
Ha ha! So there you have it. Prince John thwarted once again. Now, in all honesty, Sean's a really good buddy of mine, and I was so happy to get to play our first real game of Warhammer on Knights of the Game Table. Sean played a great game. Like, I had a huge advantage against him. A, because I play every single freaking week on Knights. Um, but B, I got to see him play as Custodes yesterday. He'd never seen me play with the Emperor's Children. Um, I feel a little bit vindicated with the Emperor's Children, I can't lie. When I fought against my Alpha Legion force, it really didn't show the power of this 50 power level army. Um, but this is a really beefy force. Um, you've got the three troops of Noise Marines that have three shots on average each that are assault, um, assault shots so you can move and shoot with them. Um, they've got all this, um, you know, a lot of firepower with Endless Cacophony. Um, and then they're still pretty decent in close combat. The Noise Marines have two attacks each as standard. And adding the Chosen with the Power Fists and the Melter Guns really gives you some cool um, you know, options to, to switch around with them and using the Rhino to get them wherever you want on the board, backing it up with the Melter Gun. And then, of course, the combination of the Chaos Terminator um, and, uh, Sorcerer and the Demon Prince is amazing. I mean, six attacks at Strength 10 with Feel No Pain and Nine Wounds wandering around the battlefield just taking things out. Demon Princes are really fearsome in the new edition. So yeah, I absolutely love it. It was a great army, it was a great game. Um, like I said, I think there are a lot of things that Custodes could have done that would have messed me up. I was terrified of an early deep strike. Um, if he had a deep strike next to each objective, I think I'd have lost the game. Um, but the end, you never know. Great game, um, Sean's a great player, and I look forward to defeating Prince John um, at the Sherwood Forest Fair. We're gonna put a link to the fair. If any of you are in Austin or in Texas, and you wanna come and see me performing with Sean uh, live on stage, and seeing what happens when we actually go toe-to-toe because -to -toe, we're going to have a sword fight on the top of a car so it's going to be epic. Um, please check out the link to Sherwood Forest Fair and consider coming along. Um, and of course, um, the, the new terrain, which we absolutely love. The, uh, the Tinker Turf terrain, you can find it on Kickstarter and I'll make sure I give you guys a link to that as well. Um, we don't get paid any money for you guys doing either of those things. It's really just a way of us uh, sharing things that we think are cool. Well, that didn't go as planned at all. In all seriousness, uh, I walked onto the show knowing I was going to lose tonight. Adam is a fantastic player, he's experienced. I have not played since second edition, I have just gotten back into the hobby and Custodes was what got me in there. So, things I could have done differently, um, giving up the first round, I had a thought on how I was going to play that, but that was the wrong tactic. Uh, a quick bum rush across the table would have probably set me in a lot better of a situation, at least gotten into range where I could do a little bit more close combat. I was trying to lure Adam in and he did not fall for my less than cunning ploy. So that being said, it was a lot of fun. It was a great time. Uh, the custodies have definitely shown that they can take a hit but they don't have a whole lot of mobility if you don't have the jet bikes. So those are the things I've learned and definitely looking forward to playing them again. So thanks ever so much for watching and putting up with us here at Knights of the Game Table in our ridiculous Robin Hood costumes. I hope to see all of you based in Texas come down and see us at the show at Forest Rep Fair. We would love to see you. And look at this cool terrain. This is Tinker Turf. Please guys go check it out. Um, not many people know about them. I know they're Kickstarter. Um, very few people have seen it yet, but it's great. You can get a full table of skirmish um, terrain, which can be used for Necromunda or Warhammer 40,000 for less than 80 bucks. And it's fully painted. That's what it looks like. It's great. It's absolutely awesome. Um, and it's good construction as well. It's like hardwood. It's nice. So make sure you check them out. Thanks ever so much for watching us here at Knights of the Game Table. Don't forget to enter yourself into our competition to win a start collecting box of your choice by uh, leaving a comment down below and, and, and sharing to your favorite social media site. Once again, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Knights of the Game Table. Next week on Knights of the Game Table. Thousand Sons versus Dark Eldar. Who will battle next? You choose the armies, you win the prize. Only on Knights at the Game Table. To keep up to date with everything at Knights at the Game Table, all you have to do is click subscribe and then hit that tiny little notification button next to it so every time we upload a new video, YouTube will be sure to let you know. Now remember, we give away a free start collecting box every single month. So make sure that you're commenting and sharing on all of our videos and every single time you do it, we'll enter you into our most recent monthly competition. And if you'd like to catch up with some of the previous episodes of Knights of the Game Table, then all you have to do is click here. And with one simple push of the mouse button, you'll be able to see some of our past episodes. Thanks ever so much for supporting us here at Knights of the Game Table, and I'll see you in the game.